hey, genuine relations and constructive critics, to whom I am thankful for letting me know my negatives. At the outset, I wish you and I beloved a safe journey this year too, as well as subsequent years, in spite of the three waves of Corona, with the fourth and subsequent waves already in progress, all variants of concern in full swing in India, all with high mortality rates, besides other natural calamities all over the globe. It is social activist come good-hearted preacher, Professor S. Suresh, back with the sheer ecstasy, enticed with altruistic curiosity to learn the unknowns like an infant for my 212th video, 212 on annual of publication on YouTube today, 7th April 2023, Friday. It is supposed to be Good Friday. So I have selected a real good topic. The topic for today is Stray Dog Menace in India. At the outset, I assure you my videos are always short and sweet worth every femtosecond of your precious time. We are martyr, but our videos are immortal. We live through our videos forever, for sure. Hence, I am confident that I live forever, having published 212 videos so far, including this particular video for the benefit of society that too, absolutely free. Even though the topic is just stray dogs, there are stray cattle, stray birds, especially the rock pigeons, irritating uh, birds, uh, and a lot of other things uh, that are really a danger, an imminent danger to the humans on this uh, planet Earth. Anyhow, I will restrict to just uh, dogs. Actually, dogs are very loyal, uh, smart, uh, okay. But street dogs are just the opposite of that. Even uh, if you want to curse somebody, we say dog, okay. That is not really cursing, uh, it's like a blessing in disguise, I would say. Okay, anyhow, let us move on to stray dogs, also known as stray dogs or community dogs. Dog out on the street with no, which nobody owns. Dog that roams around the street, scavenging for food and water. Stray dogs, known in scientific literature as free ranging urban dogs, not only urban, rural, everything, suburban, are unconfined dogs that live in cities. They live virtually everywhere, in so everywhere cities exist, and the local human population allows, especially in the developing world. Street dogs may be stray dogs, pets which are strayed from or are abandoned by the owners or maybe feral animals that have been owned that have never been owned. Street dogs may be purebreds, true mixed breed dogs or unbred land races such as the Indian pariah dog. Major main problems caused by stray dogs. Dog bites and dog attacks can occur when dogs are trying to mate or fighting among themselves and pedestrians and other humans in the vicinity may be bitten by fighting. Rabies is a major problem in some countries, not some countries, majority of countries. Once rabies sets in, there is no cure for it. People infected with rabies will act like dogs and die pathetically. They will be chained to the, this thing, beds, even in hospitals. Uh, they will plead for water. Uh, yes, I'm not supposed to give water. Uh, they will pant like dogs uh, and die with nobody to care. India is the largest stray dog population on earth with about 62 million stray dogs. This is a very old statistics and the largest number of rabies deaths in the world. One uh, infected animal, rabbit dog, can infect maybe 1000 uh, dogs in the vicinity and even uh, like 100 people there. Barking and howling and dog fights over mating among dogs can be disturbing to people and the smell of dog urine, which is a product of territory marking may become quite pungent among unsprayed or neutered dogs. Not to mention the presence of feces, shit, toxocariasis. Due to the collapse of vulture populations in India, which formerly consumed large quantities of dead animal carcasses and terminated certain pathogens from the food chain, India's urban street dog population have exploded and become a health hazard. It's explosion. In 2001, a law passed in India making the killing of stray dogs illegal has exaggerated the problems related to stray dogs, increasing the stray dog population and causing rabies cases in humans to rise. India has the highest number of human rabies deaths in the world, estimated at 20,000 per year. That's a very old statistics again. 
these trade-offs are one of the leading causes for road accidents too, since they chase two-wheeler drivers for no apparent reason. Besides, they suddenly dart across roads and drivers trying to avoid eating these useless creatures and cause accidents resulting in death injury to themselves and other people out on the streets. Most of these stray animals, they will be lying in the middle of the street, uh, hindering the free flow of traffic and people and all that. In so many areas, these filthy dogs rule the streets even during daytime and people are scared to venture out of their houses. These filthy animals attack the innocent and gullible, especially young kids and elderly all of a sudden when they run out of food. Preventive measures. Cull. Cull means killing all stray animals, whether it be dogs or cattle or whatever. Kill them. That's a permanent solution. Sterilizing and vaccinating the dogs who live in a lure live in our communities, effective and humanly controls their population, prevents rabies and reduces human-dog conflicts. Strict penalty for people who abandon their pets for some reason or other. Even pet dogs should be sterilized and vaccinated for rabies. Organizations like People for Animals, shortly PFA, People for Ethical Treatment for Animals, PETA, Blue Cross, World Society for Protection of Animals, now called World Animal Protection and similar other organizations, should be banned. Focus on philanthropic people with the money, whether black or white, should focus on ethical treatment of other human beings, take care of the elders, insane people, third gender, uh, protecting the infants, young ones from the pedophiles, uh, even one year olds get raped, even eight year olds get raped. And uh, people abandon their elders, elders uh, with no money, food, nor this thing, even at places, so-called holy places like Kasi. It's all happening. Orphans. There are so many orphans. Uh, take care of them. You have money, no? Take care of these people. If you have a lot of money, take some of these stray dogs home, stray cattle home, take care of it. Okay, let your house alone shit, I mean, let your house alone stink. You pick up all kinds of infections. That is your call. But don't uh, ruin the society. Don't be a b bother for the others. Taking care of animal, humans is much more important and should be given the highest priority. Catch out street dogs and it is the responsibility of governments to take care of them. People who are fond of dogs can adopt them. That's what I said. You can keep as many dogs as you want to or as many cattle as you want to in your house provided your neighbors and the government's permit. Only in undeveloped and developing countries like India, stray dog, stray animal problem exists. You, this problem doesn't exist in developed countries. I have lived in developed countries, so I can say this for sure. Even in a take your dog for a walking, uh, as the owner, you are supposed to clean their uh, shit, uh, urine and all that. You cannot let it uh, sit on the streets. You cannot let them, I mean, urinate and uh, shit anywhere as they please uh, and let the others suffer. Efforts like sterilization is an utter failure since these animals disappear from, from sight if dog catches appear. Analyze the prime reasons for explosion of stray animal population and put a stop once and for all. People who feed these stray animals should be punished. The biggest reason behind the problem is open garbage. Stray dogs rely on garbage while hunting for eatables. Countries that have garbage kept in bins and are cleaned regularly are lesser, see lesser number of stray dogs. Even stray animals like cattle. Cattle is another big nuisance. Basically government should coordinate with the local administration officials and public service organizations to eradicate these stray animals from every nook and corner of India. I can talk about these topics forever, but anyhow, uh, let me stop here. Okay, debates and our discussions on open-ended topics like this can go on forever. Anyhow, let me pull the plug here. We'll meet again real soon with another interesting topic. Some of the statements used expressed us only in mind based on limited knowledge gained over six decades of personal experience. Always watch these videos with the closed caption subtitles for absolute 100% comprehension as for my sincere recommendation zillion times so far. I have made it as my policy to complete the presentation within 20 minutes maximum.
today I must have taken hardly uh, maybe eight nine minutes. This time I might be self-imposed to retain the viewers' attention as a norm. Stay at home as much as possible to maintain social distancing attributed to pandemic novel COVID-19 and other uh, such viruses and prolong your lifespan. Lead a healthy life. God, also known as the Supreme Power, is the only one that can put a stop to natural and unnatural events. Maybe bio war and cyber war like pandemics and epidemics which ultimately pays away for apocalypse and extinction of all sentient species on earth for no fault of others, no fault of theirs. Rest in peace and harmony.